So I think this is actually my third update for my Project 20 pan. I'm almost finished with this. I'm crossing my fingers that I'll start using these products on a more regular basis, but in case this is the first video that you've seen from me, um, I have finished off this very large box here of items and I'll link some of my previous update videos as well as the intro down in the description box. You can follow me as I use up these items as well as, you know, my thoughts and opinions on them. So I think since the last update, it has been three weeks almost, two and a half to three weeks. So I have finished off seven products since the last update. I did have quite a few that were just barely hanging on by a thread. So the first one here, this is actually a lipstick. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. I've had multiples of these in the past. I think this is my third full size of this lipstick, but I have used up some of the, you know, the little travel size, deluxe size versions of this as well. This is the Buxom Full On Lipstick. This one's in the shade Sydney. I really like these because it's easy to apply them. You don't need a lip liner when you apply them. Not that I use lip liner on a regular basis anyways, but the point on these is such a fine, you know, it's more of a fine tip than a standard lipstick as you can see there and the color on this is probably one of my all-time favorite nude shades I cannot roll this up anymore that's as far as it's rolling up and um, on the bottoms of these they're just like the elf matte lipsticks where you can pull out the bottom and you can sharpen the lipstick if you wanted to so you always have a sharp point which again also gets rid of the need for a lip liner. So just for reference purposes, at the last update, I was right there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but when I held the lipstick up there, you could see how much lip product I had in there. And since, it, since it's such a skinny um, lip, stick it wasn't too bad it was actually pretty easy to get through so first item was the buxom lipstick then i was actually really sad to see this one go i had just popped it open from the last update and i had put it into this little contraption here this little container that i got from nordstrom but this was my mac pro longwear concealer i had the shade nw15 i have a video showing if you can't pry the top off of yours. I'll link my video down in the description box. If you've tried everything else and nothing else works, maybe that method will work for you. But I got the top off of there and you can see hopefully there is nothing left in there. I scraped out everything that I possibly could out of this guy. So this one is finished. I took everything out of that and then I, like I said, I put it into here and this is finished as well. So I don't recommend doing that unless you can't pump any more product out because if you have this in here for too long there's a lot of air that gets into these little containers even if they seem airtight like this one i thought it would be more airtight than the last time that i did this but the very last application that i was using on my face it did seem like it wasn't as liquidy of a product it had dried out dried down just a little bit so it's just a little bit thicker it did provide a lot of coverage but I would say if I had to use it two or three more times after that I don't think I would have been able to use it but I did get every last drop out of that MAC concealer I was really happy about that one then I had this little guy here this is the Dior Dream Skin Capture Total it's a global age defying skincare perfect skin creator and it's a base for your face. I used it as a primer. I couldn't use this every single day. I had to space it out a little bit because I do feel like this item did break me out if I used it consecutively. But that is where I was at the last update and I just finished off that last little bit. So definitely didn't take too long to finish this one off. Wouldn't be repurchasing that one for sure. Then I did have an eyeliner. I was kind of bummed about this one. This is one of my favorite eyeliners ever, specifically for the waterline. Um, I have different eyeliners that I like for different things. This one's a really nice high-end eyeliner. You can see here, this is what it looks like currently. But the last time that I went to sharpen it, it took out the teeny little stub that was in there and it ate it in my sharpener. So unfortunately, 
I didn't get to get that last little sharpening out of here and use it. I can't sharpen it anymore. It looks like there might be a little bit in there, but it looks like that's probably the wax that's holding the actual eyeliner inside. So unfortunately, this guy crossing it off the list too. I really liked that one for the waterline. It seemed to stay in the waterline for a very long time. The next one that I finished is also another MAC product. This is the MAC Mineralize Gloss in Modern Romance. I love the scent of these. They feel really nice on the lips. The wand, let me show you. The little applicator wand here, it's more of like a flat paddle kind of applicator, but it's very soft and cushy when you're applying it on your lips. I really liked this. Um, the scent on these is just so delicious. I think the scent on these mineralized glosses smells almost better than the MAC lipsticks themselves. You can see on the inside there, I got everything out of there that I possibly could. There's like a little dab at the very bottom, but it's not even one application on the lips. So considering that's what the tube looks like, I'm fine with calling this one quits. Um, I'll also link the video how you can take the stoppers out of your lip glosses so you can get down at the bottom there. I will say, unless you are not getting anything on the wand, don't take the stopper out because sometimes you can take it out too early. Some people have said that if they don't keep it upright, then it'll leak if they set it in their purse or something. So definitely don't take the stopper out unless nothing is coming out on your applicator wand. But I was really happy to get through this one, but sad at the same time because it was such a beautiful color. It felt really nice on the lips, wasn't sticky at all. You couldn't feel any of the glitter flex on your lips. Sometimes when you rub your lips together with a glitter lip gloss, you can kind of feel that grittiness when you when you kind of go like that, but didn't happen with this one. And they do still have this one in stores. So I'll consider picking this one up again after I go through a handful of what I own. After I go through the majority of what I own. Let me rephrase that. I have a foundation here. This one it should have been gone sooner, but it's just very difficult for me to use because it's such a thick product. And in the winter time, especially if I'm traveling down to my hometown frequently and coming back and forth, my skin just goes nuts because it's so dry down where I'm from. So it doesn't look like it's completely finished in here, but I had to tip this upside down. So at the last update, I was right there. And so I decided I'm going to flip this upside down. And then I had a my little beauty spatula thing and I got everything out of there that I could. There's a little bit that's left on the edges but not enough to use on the face. There's just a very thin coating on the sides. You can actually see through what's on the outside of the glass here if you hold it upright. This has been upside down for probably five days now. This is one of the last products that was finished off before this update and I was mixing this one in with a little dab of my moisturizer and that seemed to thin it down enough to where it wasn't too drying and too flaky looking on the skin. So this one is actually, as much as I criticize it, this one's actually my favorite foundation from MAC. Um, I do like it, but I think I prefer it mostly in the in the summertime. And this one, this is in NW10, so this is most certainly a winter, you know, fall, fall and winter kind of shade for me. So anyway, this one is finished. Also, and the last item, I actually finished the very last little bit of this this past weekend when I went down to my hometown. This is also a MAC product. I didn't realize how many MAC items I had in this Project 20 pan this time around, but this is a limited edition lipstick. This came out during the holidays a couple years back. This one's in the shade I Love Winter. It's a cream sheen formula, so it's a little bit easier to work through. It's a softer lipstick. It's not like a matte lipstick that'll stay on your lips for, you know, four to six hours without any touch-ups. This one will transfer onto like your straw or anything else that your lips are touching. It'll transfer. But my markings are kind of rubbed off here, but I don't mind because I'm going to rub off the rest of the markings when I'm finished with this project. When it's rolled up all the way, that is actually the plastic holder right there. And so when I measure this up against my lines here, you can see that last line right there. I was going to remark it, but since I'm just taking the marks off so I can back to mac it, I didn't. You can see there 
that is how much lipstick I finished off since the last time. So I'm happy with this one. I really didn't think that I would be able to get through it, but since I extended, <laughs> you know, I extended the update for a few days, um, it really did allow me to finish off this one and this one as well. So there's that. I do have a handful of item items left. Let me run through those really quickly and then I'll let you know what my plans are for my next update. So right now I do have nine items that I have not yet finished, but I only wanted to finish off 20 products. So I'll go through these, show you what I have left in them, and then I'll discuss what I wanna do for, you know, as far as my next update. So this first item that's left over is my L'Oreal Silky Sheer BB Face Lotion. This had the SPF of 30. You can see here, I'm holding this upside down for a reason. So at the last update, I was right down here and I only had that much product. There is probably only one, possibly two more applications in this. That's why I'm holding it upside down. It's probably right down to here. Very, very minimal product in here, but I didn't want to just waste it and toss it in. I'd rather use this up the right way and get it finished before crossing it off my list. So I do like this product. I'm definitely gonna be a little bummed when this is completely finished off because I really do enjoy it. And especially for the summertime, I haven't really seen it in stores lately, but maybe it'll start showing up more so around the warmer months, like the summer or something. So the next thing that I had here is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And I have the shade Light Plus right here. This is also from MAC and this poor thing is trying to hang on by a thread. I've been trying to use this a little bit more frequently because I haven't necessarily been setting my face, my face product, either a BB cream or a foundation or whatever I'm using. I haven't really been setting it with a face powder. So I've been trying to run this along the perimeter of my face and in like the contour areas and stuff. So it just allows for a little bit of a better blend for my bronzer or contour or whatever I'm using, but there really isn't that much left in there. I would consider the majority of all of this completely finished. So I just have that little area right along up there. So I'm hoping, I've had my fingers crossed that in the next two weeks or hopefully sooner this can be finished and I can mark this one off the list as well. I have a ton of items here that I can use for back to Mac when I'm finished with this project so that's really exciting too. I do have a blush here. This is my Tarte blush that's been hanging on by a thread as well. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. This one's in the shade Exposed. I did repress this one earlier in the project and that is what I have left in there. So essentially I just have that little ring right around the edge. I'm considering repressing this just because I don't get that even application on my brush but there's such little product in there that I'm not quite sure if it's worth the hassle of taking that, you know, 20 minutes. It might only take 15, 10 or 15 minutes to do this one since there's just a tiny little bit of product in there, but I don't know, I'll, I'll try using it a couple more times and then if I'm still having issues getting an even application, I'll just, I'll just repress it, what the heck. So that's what I have left in my exposed blush. I do have my eyebrow pencil here that I think is never going to die, and I did forget to mark this one, so I'll mark it immediately after this video, but this is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. This one is in the shade Universal Taupe. This little sucker is hanging on. Mmm, this one does not want to die, I tell you what. I've been keeping track of where I'm at on the little cap here. So, like I said, I didn't mark this one. So when I hold it up to the edge, you can see that is where I'm at. I've been trying to use this one, especially for the tail end of my brows. I really have to dig it into the brows. And even warming this one up, if I run it through a flame or if I have a candle burning and I kind of just kind of run this through there, it doesn't really warm it up to the point where it's a softer pencil. I honestly feel like this is just dried out and this is how it was when I first received it too so I don't know I guess this is just kind of a 
dud product here. It does work. It just kind of hurts the brows sometimes when I do use it. So I have heard some pretty positive reviews about this. If you can find one that's not really dried out and hard like this, if you can find one that's fresh in the stores. They're actually really beautiful eyebrow pencils, but unfortunately I did not have the luck of having that with my eyebrow pencil, but that's okay. I'm trying to get through it slowly but surely. I did have two eyeshadows. One of them is from Clinique. I have to be extremely careful with this because the last time I traveled, the blush in this little trio thing here did come loose and was kind of sliding around on the inside there. And I did travel down to my hometown again this last weekend and when the blush came loose this time, it must have hit into something and it did crack. So I'm gonna try and be very careful. I smushed it in there so I'm hoping it won't fall out, but this is all that I have left in the shadow here. This is the shadow that I'm focusing on. This one was in the shade Nude Rose. So it's a really pretty shade. It's a very powdery, very light, soft eyeshadow. I really enjoy I really enjoy this one. Just tossing it into the crease area, using it as a transition shade. It's a I would say it's a lighter version of Max Cory. So it's a really beautiful color. I really have been enjoying using that. It hasn't been a chore. It's actually been a very pleasant experience. And I, after using this one, I have decided that at the next VIB sale, I do have a Clinique eyeshadow that's been on my wish list for well over a year now. I think I'm gonna bite the bullet because this was such a pleasant experience using this one. I, th I think I will purchase a single at the next VIB sale. So I'm holding off until then, but this this is a really beautiful shade. I don't know if they have this one in a single or if it just comes in like a duo or one of their trios or quads, but if you do have that one, pull it out and use it because it's really beautiful. The other eyeshadow hasn't had as much use, <laughs> but I'll show it to you anyways. So when I first started this project, I did put a line on the packaging so you could see how far I've made it since the intro of this project. But this is out of my um, Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells trio. I've only been focusing on this pink, this kind of lighter champagne-y pink color up here. And for the most part, I don't use a brush in this one. I'll just run my finger in there and then I'll just kind of dab it on the lid that way. So if I was using a brush, I'm sure it would be picking up a lot more product, but I don't like using a brush with the shadow for some strange reason. I just prefer using my finger and dabbing it on. I feel like I get better pigment payoff and I feel like it's not wasting the product. So anyway, that is where I'm at with that one. Crossing my fingers, it'll get closer and closer to this edge over here. That's it for the actual makeup products. Then I do have a massive size of the Urban Decay All Nighter XL makeup setting spray and they've actually just barely changed the packaging again. So there's been two package changes since I've had this and I purchased this right when they were changing the package the packaging at the first time. So this was clearance down. I can't remember how much I picked it up for, but it was a decent deal. Um, this one did have six fluid ounces in it. And at the last update, I was down here. And I honestly, there's barely anything left. I'd say I'm down to about here. I'm hoping that the rest of it will just spray out. And I've noticed that I really do enjoy the mist that this one lets off. I was considering dumping some of my MAC Fix Plus in here after I finished this one off and then just using the sprayer on this to spray out my Fix Plus because I've noticed sometimes my Fix Plus will spray out with larger droplets, but it doesn't happen all the time. So anyway, there's just something I, I'm thinking out loud. So that's, that's where I'm at with my um, setting spray. And then I did have this little guy here. I didn't mark this one as well, but this is the Beehive Soap and Body Care Perfumed Lotion Bar. This one's in orange patchouli. It's just a little lotion stick that you can kind of rub on like your elbows, your knees, your heels, wherever. I mostly just use this one on my tattoos over here. I have, you know, my arm over here has a bunch of tattoos. So I've just been marking this, it's going upwards. So this is where I started. This was at the first update, at the second update, and currently I am, I am right there. 
that. So that is where I'm at. I'm gonna have to put a mark on the actual cap, but there's like a, a threading so the cap can twist on, but right underneath that threading, that's where I'm at. So not too bad. Um, I did notice I was applying this and if you push too much on the bottom, this whole thing will pop out. So I really don't have very much left in here. Let me show you. If I'm holding it like this, you can see that is where the plastic ends and that's the product. So not very much left in here. I would say if I use this on a daily basis, there's maybe two weeks left in here, a week and a half, two weeks worth of lotion bar in here. So I have high hopes for this one, but if it's not finished off when I call this project quits, I'm fine with that. And the last item that was in my project 20 pan is a hairspray and this thing is just hanging on. It sounds like I'm about to write here. So where there's a space in between this paragraph and that paragraph, I'll toss a mark on there after this video, just so you can see where I'm at, but I'm about right there. I really feel like the scent on this is one of the best that I've smelled at the drugstore. I just wish that it had a better hold to it. I can spray this in my hair and I feel like it doesn't keep any hold. Like if I curl my hair, it doesn't keep the curl in my curl will be out by the end of the day. Um, it, it just doesn't keep the tease in my hair. So I haven't really been teasing my hair and curling my hair very much lately. Anyway, I mostly just use this as like a flyaway thing. Even flyaways, you can see on the top, it won't hold them down. Maybe I'm just not spraying enough, but this one was the Swab Professionals Touchable Finish Hairspray, and this was in the lightweight hold. So those are all the products that I'm still working on. And I was gonna mention, I do have, I think I only technically need to finish off four more items to call this a successful Project 20 pan with finishing off 20 products. So let me show you what I'm definitely aiming to finish. So number one is definitely this L'Oreal one that only has one or maybe two uses left in it. Then my MAC powder for sure, since it only has a couple applications as well. My Tarte blush is one that I'm definitely gonna be focusing on in the next week and a half, two weeks. And then I would say between these two, these are the last two items that I would uh, like to really attempt to finish off for the finale, but I don't think the other ones are going to be finished off, and if they're not, that's fine. I tossed in extra products just in case something like this did happen where I had something like this brow pencil that is just taking eons to finish and this hairspray that just, I don't use a lot of this hairspray. It's not a favorite hairspray of mine, so it's gonna be around for quite a while, even after this project. So anyway, that was my update so far. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.